hi one welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can create one custom connector within power automate which can consume or read the feeds from linkedin so as of now in power automate in social media connectors we have twitter and youtube connectors but we don't have any linkedin connector so that's the objective of this video that i'm going to show you how you can actually connect to linkedin using your custom connector and then consume that function in any of your flow so let's start or consuming any api from linkedin we have to use the developer dashboard for linkedin so that is developer.linkedin.com so everything is being driven using oauth protocol where we have to create one app and give it a consent so that it, the app can actually access the linkedin on behalf of you so that is there are two steps involved we have to create one app and then have the client id and client secret generated for it and then go to power automate create a custom connector make a oauth type of authentication in the custom uh, custom connector and then making a call to endpoint which is being given by linkedin so let's do that so i'm just going to create app and over here you can specify your app name and if you intend to connect to any company's LinkedIn page or feed then provide that company's page URL or you can create a new page URL as well just in case you just want to test in first place then you can do that policy URL you can just leave that blank app logo if you wish to upload any logo to it then you have to actually click on accept legal agreement then create app so once this app is created you would able to see so i am just going to my one of the existing app that i recently added so you would get a page sort of this app setting and there are several tabs authentication products analytics team members so under auth tab you would find the client id and client secret which we are going to use while connecting through our custom connector so just keep that safe and if you scroll down initially the oauth setting would be just blank like it will just say like access token is live for two months but this oauth redirect url is just blank we are going to configure this one so you have you can see like i have already configured this piece over here but we are going to change it uh, based on like uh, the, the custom connector which we are creating in our environment so we'll do that and if i scroll further you would find the OAuth scope. So initially, this OAuth scope would be just blank. So right now, these uh, scopes have been added via flow. So just uh, ignore it as of uh, now because we are going to do that in a in a later on in this video. And if I just go to the products, you would find what are the available products. So you can see like share on LinkedIn. So using this product, you can able to create post and if i click on view endpoints this will give me endpoint which can buy this api.linkedin slash v2 assets slash v2 this images and everything all these are actions the endpoints and their method the post action if i wish to post do any post create a post within linkedin i could use that and beside that we have this oauth scope so this is the scope which i was talking about so whatever action you wish to do with your this app then that scope has to be added in the calls so for example i wish to just access my image or access my details then the scope would be just member social and uh, the like profile so if i just go back and click on this sign in with linkedin then if i go to view endpoint and i wish to just get the information by myself so that's a pretty uh, straight get request I liked profile so there's a scope which we need to add so these are two three things which we have to keep in mind and if you wish to fetch the data for your company's page then there is a bit more involved that is marketing developer tool you have to actually fill out one access request form so this doesn't have much information just have a few details related to your company so you have to specify those information then this product marketing developer platform would be available to be used so if you wish to fetch the company's feed then fill out this form get the consent done 
and if I go to the view endpoints, so you would find a view endpoint related to this activity. So this is the endpoint, the activities which you are going to make a call to get all your organization feed or like whatever they are posting on your company's uh, LinkedIn. So that's those posts would be retrieved from here. All right, so going to the Microsoft Power Automate. So as I said, there is no existing connector for LinkedIn. So we are going to do that from scratch. We are going to create our own custom connector. So I am going to do that under data custom connectors. And we are going to start by creating a new connector from blank. And I'll just say my LinkedIn feed. And over here, so I need to specify the host. So the host would be api.linkedin.com. And because we are going to use the API, I'll just show you like which API we are going to use. I, I'll just construct that in Notepad. So this is the api.linkedin.com slash to slash me so this would just give me the information about myself so these are just test endpoint which we are going to test with this custom connector so right now i'm just going to the security tab and which is a main tab where we are going to make a connection using oauth 2.0 to our linkedin and in the authentication provider because if i just open this one so you can see like i have many default authentication provider for facebook Pinterest live Instagram Google but we don't have for LinkedIn so that's why we are going to use for the generic OAuth and in the client ID we have to copy paste go to your authentication copy this client ID go back to your custom connector and paste it again go to your security so I'll just copy it and paste it under authorization URL, we have to paste the authorization URL provided by LinkedIn. So I'll just copy that from my notepad. This is a LinkedIn authorization URL for OAuth and I'll just paste it. And under the token URL, I have to specify the access token URL and I'll just paste it. And in the refresh, uh, refresh URL, you can also paste the same thing. And under scope, now over here, we have to specify the scope with the spaces which we want to use so i'll just go back to my products and i'll go to sign in with linkedin and i'll just copy this light profile scope and go to custom connector again put it there and now over here in the redirect url i'll just copy this your redirect url which it is going to generate so this redirect url will not be generated until unless we save this connector so let's go to the definition first create an action where this action can be used in any of the flows I'll just say my LinkedIn feed or get my LinkedIn feed I'll just do that same in the operation and over here in the definition I'll because I just need to get my own details so I'm just saying as a method as get and then put the URL as apilinkedin.com v2 slash me and I'll just do that import. So this is done. I now I'll just create this connector. So though like one step is still missing, the redirect URL, we are going to do that step. So that is also important. Otherwise, this authentication would not happen. My connector has been created. Now I just go back to my security and go over here, copy this URL, and now because under auth tab we have not configured the redirect url so because you have created the app for the first time this this redirect url must not be there so you have to just click on add it paste the updated the copied url from your flow and just save it so this redirect url is must to have and now we'll just go to definition then go to our code review where we are not going to do anything but directly go to test 
so that to confirm that we are going to make that connection or not so let's try it I'll just click on new connection and it has given, given me pop up to sign into my LinkedIn so that for the first time I should be able to sign in with my LinkedIn so let's do that and after that it the uh, consent has been provided to access the post for this page whatever app I have created and now I'm going to test the operation for my profile I have just clicked on test operation and I got this success so that means like our connector actually configured successfully and I got my detailed you can the display image the name and the other light fields so earlier like we used to have a detailed uh, uh, me response where like we have used to have the email ID and all that stuff other stuff but uh, now recently LinkedIn updated their APIs to give the light scope of your profile so as I said like whatever product you want to use you can go inside that you can go to view endpoints over here if you wish to work with the company's data with the company's post then go do this configure this first of all marketing developer platform endpoint for your app then copy this scope go to your custom connector again in the definite security where we actually configured OAuth protocol you have to space you have to by within a space you have to uh, include that scope as well whatever you wish to perform whatever operation you used to perform so that's how a LinkedIn connector can be created into your power automate and once this is done you can just go to your flow you can create any instant cloud flow I'll just say manual one and you would start seeing your LinkedIn connector into the action so if I just say LinkedIn I can just go to my this my LinkedIn feed where I can just simply add my action and as it's a st I'm not receiving or getting any parameters so it's a standard one I'll just save it and run it And it ran successfully. We got the endpoint updates, the result response, and that's what it is. So I hope uh, you got the point. To make any connection to the developer.linkedin.com, you have to create a custom connector, have the OAuth uh, client ID security, and all the settings in place, and make a connection. So that's it for today. If you still have any question, please drop your comments. I'll try to answer those. Thank you. That's it for today.